you guys welcome back to my channel vibing at the dark underscore with mo and if you're new to my channel how about hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber how about send it to a family or friends so they can vibe out with us and please 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 don't forget to like this video it helps out a lot okay as you can tell by the thumbnail we're going to be talking about cardi b and tasha k once again um was she set to seize her assets and sound like she's about to start and we're going to be talking about Jess Hilarious and Country Wayne. Jess Hilarious went on The Breakfast Club, and she came out and said that, look, Country Wayne was always going around telling the, the story about he broke up with her. So she cleared the air, and she made them call him up, and she confronted him about what happened. So I'm going to let y'all listen to that. Let me know what y'all feel about both of these situations in the comment section below. Now let's get into this Cardi BP. Okay, so I had made a video like two days ago about this when it came out that she was set to seize her assets. So if y'all had not watched that, it looks like this. Y'all go watch it. And what are y'all doing if y'all didn't watch it? But it looks like this. And I'll also leave the link pinned in the comments down below of this video so y'all can have easy access to just click and watch. So I'm about to read this article from Radar Online. And this is telling what Cardi is set to take from Tasha K. Neighbors, get into this. Cardi B is about to start receiving her settlement money from Tasha K very soon. According to Radar Online, Cardi B is set to see Sasha K's YouTube checks. Last week, we told y'all that Cardi was planning to see Sasha K's property in order to start collecting the full million settlement. Now it's being revealed that Cardi B hit up Google to collect the checks Tasha gets from her YouTube channel. You are hereby command that Immediately hold all money, including wages and other properties, except what is known to be exempt belonging to the defendant or obligations owed to the defendant name above, beginning on the day of service of this summons and including the next 1,095 days, the notice Cardi submitted to Google Read. A rep for Google told Cardi that Tasha K had $9,304.81 owed to her. Cardi now wants the court to order the funds to be handed over to her immediately so like i keep saying cardi is not stopping like and i feel like she shouldn't because tasha k still making jokes about it so y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below and on to the next story okay as some of you may know or some of you may not just hilarious and country way was a thing of the past when Jess Hilarious first started coming out, her and Country Wayne did a few skits together. They did some shows together, and they became an item. Now, their relationship really didn't last too long. And when she did some interviews, she, um, when people was asking her, like, why they break up and things like that, she was always saying that she couldn't get with his lifestyle. He had a bunch of different women, and he wasn't being honest a lot, that he was still messing around with his baby mamas. And she just couldn't get with that type of lifestyle. But she went on The Breakfast Club on yesterday. And when they told her that they had Country Wayne on there and they told her that he said he broke up with her, it became like a big thing. And Justin Lears was like, no, she broke up with him and then he left. And so they ended up calling Country Wayne and Justin Lears and him told the whole story. So I'm going to just let y'all listen to this. And then y'all let me know what y'all think about this story. Relationship with Jess Hilarious, how it ended. I've been in relationships, man. We, we know, know that. But they didn't work out. <laughs> I know. just left. Oh, you, you, oh, okay. Oh, nobody ever left me. So, so what, what's the reason for you Jess leaving? Hilarious ain't leave you? No. Oh. I, I let her say that because, I, you know, I'm the type, I'm going to let, she got a brand, but no, nah, I, I never got left in my life. Well, Jess Hilarious said, cap! She called him. Let's Definitely hear it. Definitely cap. Big yeah. cap. She cap. She called him, and this is what happened when she called him. I told her I was going to call him on air, though. Hello? Hey, Country Wayne, good morning. It's the Breakfast Club. What's up with it? You lied! <laughs> I know he like, yo, we, I was just there yesterday. So so we opened up the phone lines, Country Wayne. You lied, Wayne. Wayne. 800-585-1051. We're asking people, <laughs> has your ex ever lied on you? And Jess Hilarious is here, of course, and she's saying you lied on him. He said I lied first. Nah, nah, I ain't never lied on Jess. She don't lie on me, but... I, I lied on you. What's the first lie I told yeah. about you, sweetie? What is it? Well, it's so many of them. I can't even count. Oh, God. Now it's so many. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Country Wayne's no player. He's just the way his whole demeanor. <laughs> but listen, you <laughs> said you broke up with Jess, Wayne. Yeah, I just left, right? Yeah. Oh, you, you, but you, no, 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 no. All right, so look, so now let me play lawyer because you said you left. 
I broke up with you and you mm. left the house that you put me in, by the way. Nah. But you you left it. Because nah. what else you going to do with somebody? But, but what you going to do? I didn't have to leave you. You was in yeah. my house. You left the no, house you after that. I broke up with you. What else you going to do when somebody break up? You going to stay? Or you going to leave? Yeah, you know you ain't break up with me. It's all good. All right, Wayne. So, so, you got to get broke up with one day. It's all good. Yeah, you got to get broke up with to leave somebody's house, right? Yeah. And that's what happened. Nah. So who broke I, up with who? Nah, who broke up with who, Wayne? Nah, I left. Ain't no woman ever broke up. <laughs> you see what well, he said? I, I left. I left. What did he say before we got on air, Carlos? Because we recorded that too. Because we going to put that out. What did he say? <laughs> he left. said, he Whoa. said, yeah, yeah. And I left after that. Yeah, you left after we broke up. After I broke up with you. That's what happened. You supposed to leave. You ain't going to stay, is you? I can't let you lie 2023 now, I did. It's, it's, it could be 2026. It's going to be the same. I broke up with you and you left the house, but I still love you and congr congratulations on your movie and your book. Help is on the way, Wayne. Because help, help need to be on the way for this liar. <laughs> Ain't no way. Oh Ain't gosh. no way. You and, better not play with me. And congratulations on your Netflix special, too. Stop. Oh, that Gary Owens don't oh. got. That Gary Owens don't got. I'm going to get a Netflix special and Master P's going to pay me. Oh, 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 oh you really oh, playing with me. Right. Right. No, this ain't about, about Wayne no more. Hang up because you know. All right, Wayne. <laughs> now, Jess. What? You say that man that's Dang. What, that's what we all missed in this whole story. I, I heard that, but I was like, maybe I ain't hear that. I heard that though. Maybe she misspoke because she no. said that. Nope. No, she you said, always talking about somebody misspeaking. That, that shouldn't be worried now. You know, maybe she misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> we missed no. uh, the whole point of this mm. was Jess has good poom poom. And that's that it got to be. He you. bought her a house. That's kind of crazy. I'm What's like, damn. Oh, no, Jess, you can't really say you broke up with a girl and, and she bought you a house and get you out the house that you bought. God and, damn. Yeah. Man. Listen, that, and, and no, Whoa. don't do that because that is not the right narrative that I want to be painted here. I didn't kick him out. We okay. were both. Uh, we are both adults, and we were uh, very adult about the situation. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I felt like it was too much. Mm -hmm. The relationship, you know, I it came out. I was a home wrecker, this, that, and the other. He lied, said about, you know, the divorce or whatever. Got the lawyer to call me, tell me that everything was fine and all of mm -hmm. that. And it was just a lot that I had to deal with daily mm -hmm. coming at me and all of that. And he was very supportive, but he understood. And he was like, I do understand. All right, I'm going to just go back to Atlanta. Yeah, I broke up. I put the breakup in place. Yeah. And then he was like, all right, I'm going to leave. What else you going to do when somebody say it's over? Did you keep you the keys stay? to the house? Yeah, did you keep the yeah, house? Yeah, damn, I kept the house, all the furniture that he put in it, Whoa. everything. God damn, damn. I am proud of Jeff. Jeff. Good yeah, sister, Jeff. I'm like, yes. That's about. just what it is. It's crazy. I did. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> I don't live there no more. I got <laughs> tenants, but yeah. Wow, Jess. Keep wow. the house a man bought you. Didn't go buy your own house. That's you. boss. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> stay away from me. <laughs> Okay, but that's that. I just wanted to share that because I thought that was funny when I was listening to it yesterday on my way to work. Um, but they still remain good friends. And, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about these two stories, the Tasha K and Cardi B. Do y'all think she going to ever get her money? And what do y'all think about Country Wayne and Just Hilarious? How about like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.